It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday night special where we talk about everything rock hounding related. I don't like it when people hmm, put no effort into things or they do the bare minimum, you know, and it just it shows, right? Conversely, I love it when somebody does max level effort. They like take pride in what they're doing. It shows. It, it's just an amazing product. They do an amazing job and everybody can see it, you know, like the, hmm. when people don't put energy and effort into things, it stands out like a sore thumb and it just, it grates on me. You know, I like, I, I want things to be that like, Mm, where you get it, you read it, you look at it, you hold something, and you're just like, perfect. I would like to share with you today something that falls into that category of just like, well done. Well done exactly the way it should be, okay? I'm talking about, we're talking about this. Now, I know a number of you out there know already about this book. This is Kate's book. Katie did. Katie did rocks here on YouTube. Lovely, lovely person. I've actually, uh, we've, we've gone rock hunting before. Um, and we even <laughs> went and grabbed a beer together afterwards and, and uh, chatted. It, it was, it was a, a, a great experience. Um, it's always interesting to meet people that you kind of you watch their videos you have the the exchange and comments and stuff and then you get to meet them and hang out and um she's exactly how she comes off on a video in person very just a very like nice genuine woman well she wrote a book now this is the book that aspiring mm, I, how to say this the other people that make rock hounding guidebooks and stuff they should look at this and be like oh this is how you do it. Now, I'm not going to spoil her book for you, but you should definitely go check it out. Um, a number of things, right? The style in which she did this is superb. I love that she really speaks from her own experience at these locations. The layout in this is excellent. Like, giant photos, right? Which I, I detest. The guidebooks that have, like, one blurry photo at sunset of a location like this like you read her listings and you're like oh you get the feel for it you know um excellent writer and i think it's great to be able to go out and support somebody with their their project like this i i, I really I, I wonder how many hours she has into these books you know maybe if she sees this in a leaves a comment with about about the number of hours it took to get this thing from inception to uh, in my hot hands uh, as far as the amount of work and stuff. I, I would love, I'll pin it, I'll pin it, right? She also uh, <laughs> she sent, uh, sent out a bookmark, but I'm not so much of a bookmark guy, but it'll go up here on, uh, on the shop wall, I think, and then I can just look at it in, in that way, you know? You can have the little keep on keep on doing memory up there but she really uh hit the ball out of the park with this one i think um a couple of things that i really like uh, especially in the back she really uh does a great job with kind of showing some great photos of the material let me find this here i took my bookmark out <laughs> um Let's see, let's see. Yeah, she kind of like really does a great job of showing what is on the Yellowstone River. Now, this is just a book about the Yellowstone, which I I love a deep dive into a subject. You know, you can be an expert on one specific place. Um, you can be a generalist about a region. And a lot of the big statewide guidebooks, they are... They're lacking, um, to say the least, but uh, this is not. Definitely check it out. I'm going to drop some links down below. Uh, Kate did a fantastic job with her 
guidebook to the Yellowstone River. Another thing that comes to mind when people, people, especially me, <laughs> I, uh, when I think about excellent, excellent books, right? Roadside Geology, the whole series is fantastic. Now, I don't really want to talk about these in particular, but I want to talk about Marley. Marley Miller, okay? She, uh, well, she's the author of The Roadside Geology of Oregon and co-author of the Washington one. Um, November 9th at 6.45 p.m., she is doing a Zoom lecture. I'm not exactly sure of what the subject will be. I'm going to drop a link down below in the description box of this video. Uh, you know, come come join, hang out, check it out, see what she has to say. Um, she's an amazing, amazing geologist, and her work in these different publications is I mean, it's, they're just great. They're, they're kill, killer books. And uh, everything I've read from her and my email interactions with her have led me to believe that she is certainly uh, extremely knowledgeable, to say the least. Well, <clears throat> got some rocks in the mail, which is good, which is fun. <laughs> because, uh, well, this past week... Um, it was kind. Of, it was kind of my birthday, and uh, well, your boy's getting old. What can I say? Not not too not so old that I'm in the uh, like receive a cane with an awuga horn on it level, but uh, maybe that'll be for next year. So it's always nice to uh, get some rocks right around. <laughs> Right around your birthday. Now, um, I think a lot of these uh, came from the greater Yakima area here in Washington. And they came from Craig and Nicole, which is very nice that people want to uh, send send some rocks. Uh, let's give some of these a look here. A lot of, uh, a lot of these, like, carnelian, which... I'll pick that one up. <laughs> a lot of really lovely little carnelians, which I like. Um, this one's got some excellent water lines. Let's see. If, we might have to do some photos in here because they're kind of, they, they're very excellent, but they have small features which don't necessarily lend themselves well to video. But uh, beautiful stuff. And if we, uh, man, some of them are, are real, real glowers, you know? They're just excellent little agates. Very nice to see. I really want to spend some more time out there. Um, I mean, there's just such a great, great uh, area to go exploring. Now, this one, they sent it, it's taped up, so we're going to have to cut this and we'll look at it together. Let's see. Let's see. Can I get this open? There we go. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Oh, my gosh oh my god that's us <laughs> oh i i i don't know i don't know i was i was i wasn't expecting that <laughs> i was expecting uh some cut possibly polished petrified wood like that Oh my gosh. All right. This, this is a, a beautiful thing to receive. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, this, you outdid yourself with this. That is so well done. I feel like maybe they did that with like a, uh, what is it, a for, Fordham? Or a, like a Dremel? Which, that's just great. Thank you guys so much. That'll, we will have that for the rest of our lives. Beautiful beautiful now i kind of want to i want to i kind of do something extra special with this other half to it maybe uh maybe i'll i'll put a polish on this thing this week maybe we can work on that that would be a fun project but uh yeah i mean they sent some beautiful stuff absolutely gorgeous looks like some little opalized wood knot but uh man that 
What, what can I say? Do we have the, I think uh, it's a fair statement to say that the viewers here on currently rock hounding uh, are some of the very, very best. The very best. Well, we didn't post a video from the Black Rock location in Utah, but I did put up a uh, trip report. Well, Sarah put up a trip report, and uh, I wanted to show you some of the material from there uh, because it is really nice, and, uh, you know, it's obsidian, right? It's uh, mostly what we picked up out there was some snowflake obsidian, and it's very, like, already tumbled, river-tumbled stuff. I mean, I don't exactly know the geological story out there, but, um, you know, it's that. It's not so much the big blocks as it is cobbled. Very nice stuff. Um, actually, uh, we're doing a, a partial partial giveaway of some of it. Um, I'm keeping a couple of pieces for myself, but the majority of it we're, uh, we're giving away on the members' side of the channel. So if you're a member, don't forget to go check that out. Um, yeah, I mean, interesting location. You know, when we were there... There's just like a million flies. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Like, man, the, the fl flies and uh, flying ants were kind of the theme towards the end of our Utah trip where, uh, yeah, I got like attacked by some flying ants and I didn't really know that was a thing. But it's not fun to be on the receiving end of, I'll tell you that. Um, man, uh, Brian's head. Brian head, the agates, okay? What fun all right like just to be able to like go out somewhere and be like mm, i'm walking around you're at elevation it's kind of warm and uh you use a giant agate as a seat <laughs> just to have that experience you know um this is i think one of my favorites that we brought back and i'm probably gonna cut the chop the bottom of this off and it'll just be like maybe i'll polish that and it'll just kind of sit there you know i think that'll be quite cool uh, this crusty material up here, right? Um, I put this under the microscope. It is poorly formed quartz. And that's why I haven't been able to really get it off easily. I mean, it's just cruddy old quartz. Um, and it's really only on the outside. I mean, you can kind of see that there's a little bit on this back portion right there. Maybe I'll cut it like, cut it like that. Maybe that'd be a good way to put it, you know? But, uh, Excellent location. I did uh, cut some of this. Let me get it wet here. So this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. I mean, you can get some really nice pieces. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just fun material. Very, very colorful. Very colorful. And uh, a must-visit place if you're in southern Utah. Well, thanks for coming by the channel, everybody. I, I appreciate you coming here and listening to me, seeing me uh, <laughs> talk about rocks. Go check out Katie Dead's book. If you buy it, not only is your money going to a, a, a good cause, a good person, the book is an excellent book. So maybe uh, make for a good Christmas present for somebody. Anyways, I hope you... Uh, can get out, maybe do a little bit of rock hounding before the snow starts flying. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm a, a little... I normally come out here with a, quite the plan, but this kind of uh, <laughs> threw me for a little bit of a loop. I appreciate it, and I will catch you guys on the next video.